Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Happy Monday, and the recovery from Strongsville is happening. Uh, I worked today and kind of got caught up a little bit after missing a couple of days last week to go to the show. And I've got a video coming out uh, on Wednesday. It'll be the Golden Age of Cardboard episode this week where Andy and I are going to kind of give our final thoughts, talk about the show, the things we liked, the things we didn't like, just about the show, period. And we'll, we'll kind of cover all that on the Golden Age of Cardboard episode. But I just want to say thanks. I am going to show a card that I got during the last few hours while I was there and kind of tell a little bit of a story be, uh, about it. Uh, get back and, you know, I've got a bunch of card saver ones. <laughs> this just came in because I have a lot of PSA orders to get ready from the Grail collection. Lots of cards that need to be submitted so that'll be happening there are some grail collection items on greg morris right now uh i don't think they distinguish so i don't know how you would go find them honestly uh but there's there's a bunch of stuff there currently that ends on saturday uh i believe so it there's a lot of moving things there's a lot of uh, plates being spun right now and uh, yeah, I will show you the card. I got a other, couple of other cool things and uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. So hang on one second. All right, guys, here we go. I got a note, uh, I can't remember if it was email or Instagram or something, but Randy uh, Warden, who is a friend of the show, he sent me a, a message and basically said, hey, I have one 1968 Topps card and it happens to be card number 12. Do you need it for your set? And I said, as a matter of fact, I do. And he was like, well, I'll, I'll just send it to you. No charge, no nothing. And it's this uh, strikeout leaders with Jim Lomborg, Dean uh, Chance, and Sam McDowell. Ironically, Sam McDowell was in Strongsville uh, promoting a book, I believe, or something. But he was there and he he's, uh, he's getting up there. Let's just put it that way. But... Card number 12, this is going to go right off the checklist for the 68 top set and into the binder. So that was just cool of Randy to give me his one and only 68 tops card uh, to help me with, along in my set. But that just shows how cool the community is. And uh, speaking of how cool the community is, I got another thing today. This came in today and uh, I'm going to read it. Hopefully that's okay, Drew, because I read all notes, but he says, Mike, thank you for sharing your journey and your collection. The hobby is 10x better. I, I think fanatics would agree they want it to be 10x better. So it already is, according to, Doug, to Drew here. Uh, it's 10x better because of you and your kindness to share. Please don't ever underestimate your impact to all collectors in the hobby. Be well and take care, Drew. 789 Cards. That is uh, a sentiment that's hard to, I just, I'm grateful. I don't even know how to respond to stuff like this. I'm very thankful that people think about that and even more so think to communicate that to me. And I never take it for granted that uh, people care and people are great. So Drew sent me this awesomeness. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, Leody Traver Taveras, not the, the greatest Rangers player, but it does not matter because it's commemorating the World Series. That is absolutely unbelievable. I love the gold. Um, yeah, this is a awesome card. World Series champion autograph card. 2024 top series one, number to 25. And uh, Drew just sent this to me. I mean, just so, so cool. That will be... Just an awesome piece for my Rangers PC. That is just unbelievable. So thank you, Drew. I love it. All right, next up is the card, I, the last card I bought in Strongsville. Uh, I had a couple hundred dollars in my wallet and I didn't want it. I wanted to go home with a card. And so there was a card I've been eyeballing. Tomorrow night, you guys will see the Showcase Showdown with Chris from Missouri. We do Willie Mays. And there was a card I was missing in that showdown because we filmed it last week. And I wanted to pick it up. And it was this card right here, 1963 Fleer, Willie Mays. 
So now on his base run, on the Willie Mays base run PSA set registry, I am only missing the 52 tops. But I didn't have this, and I, I I really like the 63 Fleer set. I don't I know a lot of people that don't, but I, I particularly love it. I think it's a great little set. It's got some great names in it. Clemente's in it. Um Drysdale, Koufax, like there's some Yastrzemski has a card. Brooks Robinson, I think. There's just some there's some good players in this set. And so I, I really wanted the maze. And so I, I'll put this up while I tell the story about this card. So I was at a dealer's table. I found several as I perused the aisles at Strongsville. And there was one particular dealer that I happened to be talking to about that card. And he had a bunch. Actually, he didn't have it. He had a bunch of 63 Fleers slabbed up, but he didn't have a maze. And there was another guy happened to be there with a, a car, he was carrying a card case, not not a Pelican case per se, but something similar. And he looks over at me and he says, hey, I, I happen to have one of those for sale if you want to look at it. And I said, sure, you bet. So we moseyed over to another table and kind of set up and he started showing me what he had and he, and he pulls his card out, right? And he says, hey... I said, well, what's your number on it? And he goes, well, whatever they are on eBay, I will sell it to you for less. And I'm like, great. That, that's a, that sounds good to start. It's a good start to this negotiation. And so we end up pulling up comps and they were kind of all over the place. The, uh, in fact, I'll show you a screenshot right here of the two most recent comps on eBay. So you can see it's, it's, a, it's a range, right? 168 or whatever to 225-ish. And... He's like, well, see, 225, I'll do, I'll do 200. And I said, well, why do we have to use that comp? I want to use the other one. I want to do less than that. And so there, therein lies kind of this funny thing about comps, right? That, you know, you, you could average them. That'd be probably a good way to do it. That would make sense. And we got to the real meat of the issue. And he said, well, I, you know, I paid 200. So I really can't do less than that because I can't lose on the card. And I looked at him kind of funny because you guys know what's coming next and it was basically the conversation went uh well if you want me to buy it you're going to lose on the card because i'm not going to pay 200 and you know look sometimes you got to take a loss that's what i told him <laughs> and you could have 180 dollars. i offered 180 i said you can have 180 i'll do 180 but that's it i basically averaged the last two comps right and so he said well I don't know. I said, look, take this money and go buy something else or you can hold on to that card that's worth less than what you paid for it. That's up to you. And he kind of looked at me kind of perplexed and actually it, kind of a light bulb went off in his head and he's like, you know, you're right. I mean, I can hold this or I can take that that capital basically and, and reallocate it to some other cards. And I said, there you go. So deal was done. We shook hands. And I bought this card for $180 off of a guy that was just walking around the show. I don't remember his name. Sorry, not that it matters at all, but I got this nice Willie Mays in my collection now. And that was, it was just a funny conversation, a funny interaction, things that I hear all the time. Oh, I can't take, lo I can't take a loss on the card. I'm like, okay. You know, basically if, I, I would literally have walked away and I was, wasn't going to pay 200. So because I saw other ones for less than that in the same grade. And I'm like, well, I'm not I'm not doing that. So uh, I'll, I'll pay you. That's fine. I don't care where I get the card. And we ended up making the deal. But it's just, again, the funny conversations, the funny interactions you can have with people and how they look at their cards. And uh, I just wanted to own the card, you know, for as cheap as I could. So that is that, guys. Uh, remember Wednesday... Golden Age of Cardboard, Andy and I talking about the Strongsville show, kind of our final thoughts, assessments, pros and cons, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great week and keep collecting.